per hour. And they got it. They are tornado right A damaging tornado and quarter side hail. A tornado has been confirmed by law. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Hear that? Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. What's going on, everybody? My name is Sean. This is Chris right here. Say what's up, Chris. Hey, we okay. Uh, we're in Missouri right the second. We made it through yesterday, but man, those storms were really bad. And we didn't realize just how close we were to that tornado yesterday when I was bringing live. Check out this news article right here. Weather day in Kentuckyana. I'm Gilbert Corsi. And I'm Fallon Glick. We have been covering the severe weather, traveling through our area all day long, working to keep you and your family safe. WDRB has team coverage tonight across Kentucky and we begin with Katrina Nickel live in Jeffersonville where neighbors hands are full with cleanup from a powerful storm. Katrina. Guys, the one good thing about this storm is after it passed through, there was still enough daylight to have neighbors and other people clean up some of the mess it left behind. Now, where we are right now is where we were earlier, and there were trees just covering in the middle of the road, unpassable. But luckily, like I said, with a little bit of daylight, neighbors were able to get things into nice little neat piles and clean them up a little bit. But as you can see, just if you can see that tree up there, I mean, this, these winds that ripped through Jeffersonville were strong, taking out massive trees. And of course, what stopped a lot of people in their tracks today were the semis that tipped over along I-265 and around International Drive. Now our crews captured three turned over and Jefferson, Jeffersonville Mayor Mike Moore says a fourth semi truck had turned over not far from there. One car was trapped underneath one of the semis and Moore says that person is okay tonight. In total tonight, Jeffersonville is reporting 10 people were injured during these storms. Moore said their condition appears to be non-life threatening, but did not know more beyond that. Now some parts of Jeffersonville were inaccessible this evening. Police had certain roads blocked off around Brook Hollow Way and Boulder Court, but from what we could see, plenty of neighbors were out helping each other, cleaning up not long after. Right, we just hit a lot of bad weather, y'all. Ah, we're definitely, definitely was in a tornado area just now. The things are going across the road. Winds are strong. I mean, can barely see. It's getting a little crazy. Well, as you can see in this picture, this is a semi that right near us had turned over. Uh, here's another view of it right here. There was four semis in this area that flipped yesterday. That's crazy, ain't it? Check this out, y'all. So if you get out and caught into a situation like this, the best, best thing you want to do is try to find a truck stop or try to find some way to get out of it. But if you can't and it's looking like this, then what you need to do is you need to just park your vehicle, try to pull off the side of the road, pull your head down, hold it down and park, keep your seatbelt on. And if you've got a blanket, cover up, cover up with a blanket or anything to cover your head and just ride it out. You know, don't try to, do not try to go under underpasses. That is very dangerous. They've known to kill a lot of people and suck you up and kill you. But in a situation like you're seeing right here, you just need to park, hold your head down and stay seat belted and have your heart right. That's for sure. I appreciate y'all watching today's video. If you got any value from it, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for Trucking Life with John. Get it.